Like, bro, like, why is that? Why is that a thing? Cause, like, bro, when we were married, nigga, you? straight out of jail, they've been pen palling for like two years. Like, bro, <laughs> why is that? But they not married. That the, when she married that dude, it ain't because she think he the hardest. It's because he has told her everything he wanted to hear, and he has become the emotional. Her emotional comfort zone. Yeah, just baby. Like when I get out, I'm getting a jet. <laughs> now, <laughs> naturally, <laughs> women like men who are. You know, protectors. They are. You know what I'm saying? We do. But for me, it's that and I recognize it in my dad. My dad is a psycho. My dad is the nicest, sweetest. Hey, how you doing? Uh, but he is a, motherfucker you can know. a psycho. And I have to feel the psycho undertone. And all the psychos that I've ever dated as far as like the real, real don't give a fuck treat me like a princess. They make me feel safe. They treat me like a princess. That like, should be have so never, crazy, bro. Have, like, have never yelled at me. None of it. Like, all the guys that's ever been, like, disrespectful. Now, I told you three you know keys you? need to be delivered by tomorrow. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I don't really mean Them the ones, it's, it's not you. They ain't about, but the, cra- the craziest out of all the guys I've talked to, the craziest ones, they treat me like a princess. Don't, won't raise their voice at me. Like, uh, Literally, they treat me like like my dad used to treat me. And they me. got money. That always helps. No. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. no. <laughs> Broke psychos. You got some of them too. But I mean, I I have to feel, and I'm a ch- I challenge you. I and like I told y'all before, mm-hmm. I always on my way, but I never I never want my way because I manhandled you. I, mm-hmm. I want my way because you want me to have you allowed me or you want me to have my way so for you to even have that it's a certain type of hmm. mindset you gotta have for me to even catch and if and I can tell I, I can just feel it like if you not if you not really about it and it don't have to be you hood just in general if you don't have that undertone crazy I can feel it like I'm I'm not I'm no you lying you can tell the motherfucker be capping when they say that oh, yeah. like they crazy or not. Like nigga, you ain't crazy. Right. You just you just say that shit. No, that shit just sound it. like nigga, you right. ain't crazy. You have mild da- like you know you you, you're not logical. Okay, That's sure. all it is. You ain't like, nigga. You're not Shut crazy. Up. You were diagnosed with mental retardation in <laughs> three. A very low a very low amount of it. Now, nigga, you just can't sit down. Shut up. That you can still act you can still function properly with it. <laughs> uh, I feel like going to New York. Why not? Like the fire needs the air. Yeah. I won't burn unless you're there. You're there. You're landing everywhere far and wide. If you in your car, if you at work, turn this shit up. Episode 95. You know. I won't burn unless you're there. You're there. Feel like going to New York today. America got a thing for this gangsta shit, they love me Black Chuck is black scully, love the Pele Pele I take spit over rainbow shit, I'm a fan dude Got this silver duct tape on my tray handle The women in my life, y'all straight? Shit. <laughs> so let me know oh, hell yeah, bro Let's, Let's get energy in here today, guys I was, I was, I was trying to go over Niggas surround me so cold, man, my heart gun froze I build an empire on the load and Ox don't know I'm the weatherman I Hey, 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 rest in peace, Pop Smoke, man You sound just like
You got to like You say no PT? Yeah. You got to be the DJ at my um, party, bro. Put your CDs on the bench. For real. Listen, man, I'm gonna get into it in a little bit. I just feel ultra creative. Oh my god! I don't know if I want to sell food. I don't know if I want to. S- <laughs> I just feel free. I feel free right now. Fuck it, man. We'll talk about it. I don't know if I want to make the OnlyFans or what. Hey, man. Not, not busy. Kick me out. No doubt. Yo, you gonna put the mask on so nobody will see? They gonna know this ass, so They gonna know this ass. Hell no. We don't touch letters, stack chatters forever. We're treacherous, so let's get it back. To the death of us, me and my confidants. You shine, you feel the ambiance. Y'all niggas just rhyme. Body else, though, accumulates like snow. We don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show. You feel me? Infectious from the hushes came in like the kill. We spill three quarters of my blood into the street. Let alone the heat. That's all good. Damn it. No possible ways. No defense is bugging my life. Hospital days, reflecting with my man laid up on the uptown high block. You got his socks spray out of the door. life slipping. Uh, this is a matter of setback. Yeah. You're still in all we live in. Just well, you know Mary J is a, that still a beat queen. That's a, that's a claim to fame. I do that's you want better to slay these beats. niggas faithfully. Murder is a tough thing to digest. It's a slow I process. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the What's in My Bag podcast. It is me, your host, Louis B. I am joined by the gang, 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 gang. Good. That, was, that was good. Just don't shit yourself next time. <laughs> Sorry, you speak to him, my gal. What's up? What's up? Jade, speak to him, my guy. Yep, you know Jolla what? Jolla speak to him, my guy. Jaboomafu, speak to him, my guy. Fuck no. Jalickety snicket stick. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey man, you fucking up the names, man. Yeah. Jaboomafu. <laughs> uh, what's going on, man? I missed y'all the past yeah, two shit, weeks. Cool, man. Glad to cool. have y'all back in here, my god. For another installment Glad of the What's in My Back pod. Glad to be back. On the way to 100, Mr. episode 95 is what we are on. People, tell me, how are you feeling today? Oh, man, I am feeling uh, blessed and highly favored, my Talk brother. Talk to shit, King. You know what I'm saying? Despite the um, minor inconveniences I've been dealing with these past few weeks, I've mm. learned to just uh, let let's go, let God, God and be patient. This nigga's on his T.I. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> due to the insurmountable amounts of no, propaganda no, like, if anything, like, upon my car, I have to... <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, yeah, like, if anything, bro, like, I've just, like, I've just learned, like, I'm just... You've learned a lot. I'm, like, learning a lot, trying to, like, you know, just more so, like, more so asking the higher power for patience and wisdom, bro. Like, through, mm. like, through anything I deal with and stuff like that. Like, so, like, even, like, little small shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when people's, like, you know, like, 1111, like, make a wish or, like, shit mm-hmm. like that. You do it. Anytime, like, I'm, I'm making, but I, I don't make, like, no regular wishes. I, I, I'm wishing for patience and wisdom. Mm. Like, it's, like, another sense of a prayer for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, prayer, I mean, uh, pay, pay, yeah, patience and wisdom. That's, that's what I'm. Mature, man, that saying. was Niggas heard the episode I did with my mom And they said Man we got to switch up course <laughs> Go ahead Sonny. Hey your mom How are you feeling? feeling? She is man She's a character Um my week was Okay <clears throat> I'm feeling good man I I miss being here mm, miss I you. never realized how much I miss being in the podcast Like Until <laughs> we have to be like Nah until, I'll yeah, see y'all like, next week <laughs> Okay Like the first week is alright <laughs> Then second week It's like Hold on bro No mm-hmm. Like I don't, and personally me I don't like seeing Other niggas drop And we ain't drop Like I hate that I'd be <laughs> like man Let me Let me Let me go produce Something <laughs> Um That's it You got more uh-huh. My week has been straight I mean um Yeah my job's been Getting on my nerves mm. Oh, I oh I went to HR on they ass. So everybody mm. been trying to be real cool and shit. And like, nah, I'm just trying to switch departments. Mm. Have y'all ever been in a 
like worked in a yes. place where like they didn't want you to change a shift or change a like department. Like you knew they was fucking with you and you know low key they don't like you and they know that you don't like them, but they don't want to see you leave. They rather like it's almost like you rather see me quit or fire me. I would say, um, maybe on the flip side, same situation, maybe if uh, you may have a manager or something of higher power that doesn't want you to get promoted. Yeah. I say maybe that's in the same vein. Um, I personally haven't experienced that just yet. Um, not yet. No, I'm lying like hell. Yeah, I talked about Roche. Oh, I ain't gonna say no names. I talked about Shardy. <laughs> <laughs> the Roke Shah. That's what I meant to say. Roke Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Roke Shah. Um, yeah, man. She, she, <laughs> she got on my nerves, dog. And I could just tell she did not want me to be great because she was just fucking the help. But anyway, yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> it's, it's chill for me. Um. Did you get what you desired? What? Did you get the switch? No, I didn't get the switch, but oh, they but they left me to fuck alone. Ah, peace of mind is always good. And it's good when I walk past them because I know they be wanting to say some shit and be like, "Yeah, say it." <laughs> I told y'all niggas last week. I tell y'all again. I quit. This nigga felt. quit his job and started playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I said, this nigga is happy. San Andreas too. <laughs> like this nigga, this nigga's feeling nostalgic, boy. This nigga's feeling good than the motherfucker, boy. This nigga to go back and play an old game hey, system. Man, I literally quit and went to GameStop.com because the only thing I'm looking forward to now in life is the release of the PlayStation Five. Like that's. That's it, and I gotta wait to November twelfth, and it seems like the furthest thing away. And it's bro, oh my god, it's only a month, bruh. but God, I can't do it anymore. And then my damn controller wants to go out. I'm not purchasing another one to play that shit for a month. I don't even play the games on there like that and enjoy <laughs> yeah, it. The Xbox City. I'm just gonna dead, wait. <laughs> like, I don't know what. Xbox so are you looking somewhere from? else, or looking somewhere else? As far as job. Oh. Back to the important thing. So, um, <laughs> basically, you know, I quit and I did it because I was unhappy. I was unhappy for a multitude of reasons. Um, you know, when you just go into a job that you know is just not for you. Mm-hmm. Um, nigga, if they would have handed me nuts on my first day of orientation, I would have left too, nigga. I, I, they handed me nuts on the last uh, day of orientation. Uh, well, I don't work for them. I can talk shit. And this is awesome. Oh, yes. When I seen that shit on your counter, bro, I said, what the fuck? I said, these are nuts. They gave it to us. Fam, listen, I, I was just unhappy. And, um, like, one of the main reasons I did it was because I got a new car. And my job that I had as a salesman was going from place to place all around this fucking city. And all this fucking <laughs> traffic. about to run them miles up? Not me. And I already stay in West Bumblefuck. So, even when my day is over, I still have to make a trip to get home. So, I got tired of that. And, you know, I'm at the point now where it's like, dog, you can find something else to do. So... What I was uh, focusing on was like just, you know, work from home job. So I landed one, which is great. Um, I ain't even, you know, this is, I guess this is a little uh, tangent. Like I'm not making what I was making on my other job. You know, I probably am making just a tad less, nothing crazy. But I mean, I feel like I'm already saving that in gas and mileage anyway, because they didn't reimburse us really for shit. So like, I am happy. I am good. I came to the conclusion because literally once I quit, I just felt uh, the most creative I've felt in a long time. I just felt like doing shit. I felt like singing. I felt like cooking. You say you felt like what? Singing. Like, I just felt like what? doing shit. What? What? Well, hey, if, hey, if, right? if it make you feel any better, I've been drawing lately too, bro. Oh, man. Wow. Look at you. Not by choice, though. Mm. <laughs> But if it make it make if it make you feel any better, it does, I, I've man. Been, I, I've been drawn because I feel like oh no, man. Like, what do I want to name this? Uh, uh, what? Damn, I had a cool title when I was in the car, and I forgot it. Well, I hope it ain't no motivational speaks. Corporate drains creativity. Um, yeah, jobs drain creativity. Yeah, job period. I can't say that. In I can say that Because if you're just working some shit If you're just working some shit That's cool Like It's only if you don't need that job 
you ain't got no kids, you young, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or then no. Uh, but that person who has to show up at Marshall's because she got two kids at the house. Yeah, that's tough. Draining. Boy, you know boy, what I'm saying? Boy, Those boy, people shit, you, it's no choice. Like mm-hmm. I hate this job, but I don't even have enough time to not to even take off to not be here because if I don't be here, I'm going to miss a payment. Draining. Yeah, that's tough. Um <laughs> that that's tough as shit. And I, I I truly do feel like creativity, I meant corporate um crushes creativity because like literally I just I just feel free and I feel like I just wanna do anything that I wanna put my mind to. I'm trying to figure out But this nigga's at the top of the steps singing, boy. <laughs> Might as well make a new content piece. The staircase a cappellas. Fuck with it. Like why not? Like I don't even what am I doing <laughs> at this point? Playing. But I think that that's what you say. Playing. But I mean, you need to. You. I haven't played right. in so long. I'm just. I ain't been playing with nothing. This something I'm just playing. And feel like I'm feeling like I'm slaving just because. <laughs> nah. Honesty ooh, moment, like with my time, I, I think that I still had a decent amount of free time, but the time that I spent working, it drained me. 